All right, Myers, we have to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. It has been the story of the offseason, the preseason, huge, now huge. the regular season. Huge. This is massive. Kenny Pickett, by all reports, have come out and said he is expected to be the full-time starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers at the quarterback position going forward. This has been a long time coming. Mitch Trubisky had his struggles the early part of the season and finally against the New York Jets. Kenny Pickett made his long-awaited debut, and now it looks like this football team is his. Mice, I'm very curious what your thoughts are on, on this issue. We're going to dive a lot into that. Before I hand it off to you, Steelers fans, we want to hear from you in the comment section below. Now that Kenny Pickett is the full-time starter, which one of these offensive weapons that the Steelers has? Is it Claypool, Pickens, Johnson, Firmuth? Whoever, do you think it's going to have a huge impact the rest of the year now that there's a different trigger man behind center? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. But, Mize, give me your thoughts and, and maybe a story you have about this big Steelers move. Yeah, Nick, so there's a lot of uh, moving and shaking. First of all, we've been saying that this has needed to happen for a while now. We actually said that this past week against the Jets was the game to do this, so pretty big move by the Steelers. Uh, a half too late, in our opinion, but they did get him in there. And what more happened? You get this guy, first round pick, a really great talent coming from Pitt. Uh, you throw him in in the middle of the game. You know, he gets in there and he performs, Nick. He does perform. He made some big plays. He had some miscues, which you would expect from a young quarterback getting thrown into the middle of a game that he probably didn't game plan for necessarily. But uh, we thought that watching this Pittsburgh offense with Pickett in there had a little bit more life to it than the one Trubisky led. And we're not the only ones that thought that, Nick. Uh, Deontay Johnson uh, commented on Pickett, and he said, when he came in, we were just more efficient. You could see the energy. He played with swag, and that makes us want to play with him. We have to get him better and prepare for next week. So as soon as Pickett went in, this team felt different, and the players around the ball knew it. Everybody knew it. Uh, a, a lot more people, the young uh, rookie phenom wide receiver, George Pickens got more involved in the game. He spread the ball out, making plays with his legs. And quite frankly, though, Nick, up to this point, this Pittsburgh offense was 23rd in scoring. So something had to give. They had to get better, uh, especially with some keys out on defense and some injuries happening. They have to have the offense start clicking more. and. I think we've finally seen a little bit of life with this Pittsburgh team. Yeah, 100%. And look, I, I was part of a sort of quarterback competition. I wasn't a quarterback, obviously. I was a lineman in college. But you do have that dynamic. It's a really real thing in the locker room where you have one quarterback who, you know, in this case, and like Trubisky is to the Steelers, the quarterback that was originally the starter to start the season was an older, I think he was a senior uh, the quarterback that was pushing on him was a junior. And you could tell, right, the offense flowed better with the younger guy. It had just had a better energy. There was more uh, more big play potential, things like that. You know, Johnson brought up swagger. I mean, that certainly is an element. And once you feel that in a locker room as an offense, it really just starts eating away. And at that point in time, the coaches really need to make the decision to go with the other guy. Because once you lose the locker room, it's just hard to get it back, even for an established guy like Tomlin. Yeah. And you kind of saw the seeds of this a couple of weeks ago, right? When you had, I think, George Pickens come out and saying, look, I'm open 99% of the time. <laughs> That's that, that's is. not a message to like, you know, he just he's not just saying that to the world. That's basically a subliminal dig saying, look, I'm doing my part. I'm always open. The guy on the other end just isn't getting me the football right. And that's 100 percent what was going on. And you saw that right with you put in Pickens and uh, you put in Pickett and suddenly Pickens is just a field day over 100 yards receiving against the New York Jets. And there's one thing I want to bring up, Mice, is we talked about the Steelers with Trubisky being awful on third down. They started the game off with the Jets with Trubisky one for six. They put in Pickett. The rest of the way, that dude went five for six on third down, sustaining That's drives, correct. keeping the ball moving forward. Look, I know the turnovers happened. The last one isn't really his fault as in Hail Mary. And really that jump ball to Claypool, probably not the best decision, but still not 100% his fault. Claypool should turnovers have are it, gonna happen. Uh, You, you know, it's just, it's, they're going to happen, right? And it, it's just one of those things. You're trying to make a play. You're still a rookie. These things are going to happen. Hopefully he got it out of the system in his very first appearance. And let's give some credit to the Jets, right? It's actually a pretty good secondary. But I, I, I do think you could tell this offense was so much more explosive, could do so many more things, was a lot more what Matt Canada wants to do. So I, ju I just think that shift was really huge. And, and I do give some credit to Mike Tomlin here for actually making the decision to go ahead and go with Pickett the rest of the way. Yeah, Tomlin, who's famous for not really wanting to play rookies early on, and he especially doesn't like to switch stuff up like the way he did in this game, making a halftime quarterback swap. It's really not his M.O., 
to be fair, we haven't seen him have a quarterback uh, uncertainty for quite some time here. But I'm glad he pulled the trigger. I'm glad he did it. Uh, I've heard multiple, multiple Pittsburgh fans complain about Matt Canada's offense. But if the way that Pickett was running that offense at the end of the game is the way that he was intending it to be run, uh, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's some life to it. Maybe you just need the right guy behind the, the right trigger man behind the ball uh, to get this offense going. But, you know, I, I think this is, I think we're going to see some big time changes. I think George Pickens comes in and is utilized a little bit more because Pickett to Pickens seems to be like a real thing. Uh, it, w- it was in that game, especially against the Jets. It seemed like a, something that was very productive. Deontay Johnson, obviously he could feel the energy. So I'm excited to see Pittsburgh going forward. They have a very, very tough game next week. But this is a Bill secondary that's been ravaged a little bit by injuries. Obviously, Mike Hyde's out. A couple other key parts to that defense have been out. So we'll see what this young uh, rookie quarterback can do. And I- I'm excited to see Pittsburgh going forward.